Let's continue Final Fantasy 16. Clive has just stolen the power of wind, so should be fun. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. And with that, um, let's go. Green, yeah, green tea. Like, you can have tea late at night. As long as it's not, like, tea that is caffeinated. You can have herbal teas. It's like... I believe it's like a Japanese sencha tea. Which is, uh, it's pretty nice. That looks cool. But see, this has the gap closer. Does this have anything similar? Okay, so this is like a different gap closer. It's like, get over here! But it doesn't work forever. I don't know. We, we can try it. For now, I won't commit to anything. Alright, let's see. Wait, why is it... I swap it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So that's what it looks like. It automatically swaps. Interesting. So it's smart enough to know that if I pull towards a the target, then I should want to follow up with fire. Alright, but I'll fight most things. Let's get level up and stuff going. This is still an RPG after all. I gotta make sure that I don't miss out on XP. You Yeah, the system seems pretty legit so far. The bridge is <laughs> it's like Final Fantasy mix with Mega Man. You beat a boss and then you get its power. Chain all the attacks together like that. So probably head to a blacksmith at some point. Hang on, those items behind me. And more stuff to kill. I come from the Get him. 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 Get him.
<laughs> that dog attacks just make me laugh. It's like that that dog knows one of Samus's moves. Alright, I think I'm content. Killed. It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do things by half, do you? This way. Anything new to learn here? Uh, a man named Margaris. A mysterious man that many too believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. Kind of looks like the Dark Wanderer from Diablo. <laughs> a little. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bearers, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. See, I know he means that in, like, the figurative sense, but it was pretty literal. Her abilities were that of a harpy. Like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. If you went to defrost first, what'd you miss? Uh, literally nothing. I was just fighting until this cutscene, so... It's like... That's it. She's gone. She's the voice gone. acting's pretty good. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get go, you. Go, go, go. What am I going to do? I have the Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. I was just trying out you some know, of the skills. You cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? Anyone famous? No idea. I don't look into that stuff, however, I did reckon that- Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, she's actually dead on the inside. This is way more gritty than any Final Fantasy game I've played before. What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Um, the guy that plays Sid plays uh, a major role in Diablo 4, so I recognized him. Stay away! Yeah, this guy. It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Usually I don't like English voice acting, particularly if the game is, like, of Japanese origin, which the series is, but... 
the act, yeah, the voice acting so far has been pretty good. For not listening to you. That's near. So did she get a new power or is this like <laughs> just something bad? Sid. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. If Garuda isn't stopped, that vortex will swallow this whole forest, and us along with it. Then I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. But I should have gone with Gav. <laughs> I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus' rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Backstabia. Her name is Backstabia. There are so many. Hi. Whoa. One for every fragment of our mind. Alright. I'm fighting them all. I want I want experience. I want skills to be powerful. If it gives a little. Still worth it. No holding back. You know what to do, boy. Not this time. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Torgo. I will admit this dual element system is really cool, just how you can swap between them like that. More fights! Staggered. Yeah. 
I think the intent is you're supposed to avoid them, but I'm not avoiding them. to heal me. There we go. Not this time. Get That's good practice. I bet she's probably going to be the same in terms of what she does. But these are shadows or Fragments of her mind. Oh, it's like a like a grappling move. That's cool. Why is this one being a pain in the ass? Dude, I'm pressing dodge, it's not dodging! Why was this one such a pain in the ass? Yeah, see now 1064. Alright, cool, we can upgrade something. What is this? Whoa. 16, I'm saving up for that. What about this? No, I'm saving for the one that's like massive burst and then heal. That sounds good. Garuda, the Warden of Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire, it takes the form of a harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Such is the Icon's frenzy for destruction that even allies of the Dominant of the day... Wait, what? 
Let me read that sentence again. Such is the icon's frenzy for destruction that even the allies of the dominant of the day are won't. <laughs> allies of the dominant of the day are won't to begin fleeing. Oh no. <laughs> are won't to begin fleeing the battlefield when dark clouds gather ahead. Overhead. Ah won't. He's in there. I know it. Just saying, maybe side quests, nothing yet. Some flashy reflexes. Forgive me. Awakening. Where did he go? Oh my god. I'm not here for you, Garuda. She's gigantic. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it actually works. I bet nothing works. Ah, I was trying to catch a good one. She's toying with me. Quick enough reflexes. I wish the photo mode was more in depth, then I could use it to do thumbnails. Shit, sky battle.
I bet it's so hard to tell what's going on. <laughs> Tech down. Using large, wait, larger enemies will become partially staggered when their will gauges are reduced to 50%. Using Garuda's deadly embrace on a partially staggered enemy will topple it, leaving it vulnerable for follow-up effects. No, this one. This one. This one. That's what we want. Yep, just staying in the air is the right call here. <laughs> This reminds me of the Asmodan fight in Diablo 3. Just avoid shit. So, I mean, just staying above her head seems to be the way to, to do well here. Will hit me. There we go. Oh shit. Oof. Straight in the eye. Level up. Was I fighting? Uh, 
backstabby, I got angry and transformed into that. Just, she was about to get captured by some people. She got angry. Lol, not dead. <laughs> oh dear. Now we can stand a chance. Embodying Ifrit. Okay, melee, range attack. Charge an enemy, covering great distances. Okay. And the attacks are heavier, but... It's actually the same. equal so far. Okay, now it's not.
Well, it just goes to show mom didn't know shit. Said we'd never amount to anything. Okay, there goes a hand. Ooh. That looked gnarly. Look cool. Oh shit, this... You know, it's just tactical nuke. No big deal. Yeah. that were responsible for brother's death. Shall not pass. is your problem. Bloody mess, this. Go 
yourself as you've been chasing. It was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. The hooded figure's not a real person. She survived somehow. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> she appears to Why? be a. Uh... Why did you have to listen to him? Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? I was half expecting her to get up. Sometime later! Uh, Alright. The Knights of Warlord. Uh, main battlefield forces, also known as the King's Guard. While they ultimately answer to King Barnabas, the Knight's orders are usually issued by their Lord Commander. The Royal Intellig Intelligences. Jeez. This font is like, the, the, e, the C and the E look very similar. It's just that the line, um, a special unit led by Benedicta Harmon, dominant of Garuda, are a notable exception to this rule, reporting that they do directly to the king. Okay, um, and where we are, Bellinus Tor, named for the highest of its peaks, Sandbrex Bellinus Tor is a region of rolling grassy hills slightly inland of where the Strait of Arthur meets the Sea of Grace. In the year 873, it was the site of a decisive battle in the Kingdom of Wallot's failed bid to regain the foothold in Storm. There's the king. The king is bold, but desperate. Will you engage him personally, your highness? Who's this guy? Let's see, there's more. Odin. The Warden of Darkness who rides into battle atop a spe spectral steed and whose black blade is said to be sharp enough to split the very seas in twain. His latest dominant, King Barnabas of the Lead. Alright. Um, so more of it. We know it's the sole surviving nation. Okay. Um, it's ruler Barnabas Thama, dominant of Odin and Warden of Darkness, recently dispatched units of intelligences to storm with orders to scout ahead to a full-scale invasion, having ceded territory to the Holy Empire of Sandbrek in the Battle of the Twin Realms in the year 865. The Waloda's Launch an attack on Bellinus Tor in 873 with the intent of regaining their lost foothold on the continent. And then Sandbrek, it's like, you know, home to the Mother Crystal. Yeah, okay, we know that. The Empire has been at war with the Kingdom of Walud, situated just across the Strait of Ortha ever since the Battle of Twin Realms. Alright, I think just kind of repeating of stuff there. I guess these two are, are unimportant. 
Or he's going to transform into a dragon, never fucking mind. <laughs> oh no, that, yeah, no, that horse is like gigantic. At what point did Final Fantasy become just gigantic things doing, you know, earth-shattering abilities? <laughs> the earlier games just used to be so simple. Like, what is, what is the point of armies when you have gigantic things like that? You know, it just seems rather trivial in the context of, you know, these entities that uh, seem to be able to do destruction on a mass scale. Reform the cohorts. At once. <laughs> oh, that pose cracks me up. They all all they need is just to say a word, and then it's basically like a cult. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What of my father? His is radiance he... is safe, but he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. It is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. Shit. It was me. Yeah. I killed Joshua. Plot twist. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, <laughs> then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. Jeez. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Now. Please! Please! Ah! Why has he got him. I, like, I understand being chained, but he's naked as well. Why did he. I can take you, if that's what you want. Why did he take his clothes off? But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, he burned his clothes. As well did he? Self useful. Get I have dressed. to rewatch that part. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. <laughs> so it's like a it's like a Dragon Ball situation. Then it just destroys clothes every time. When he transformed, I, I guess, but like. What about 
What about him? Like, Sid transformed and turns into a giant thing and then came back with clothes. Like, had completely different clothes in his form. Unless maybe it, once you can control it, then you can keep your clothes. I don't know. I well, see his clothes are here. I'll have to look for that detail. What are you going to do now? <laughs> if you don't master your ability, then you'll end up nude. Mastery of the transformation allows your clothes to transform as well. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable. Okay. May as well hear what he has to say. Back in. No, I mean those... Um... Blacksmith. Well? So, will it be? Oh. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Dark Sash. Bring me the materials, and I'll think about it. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, I see. Let's upgrade. Okay. Oh, we're fine, but we got a, we got a sword. You have to drive and go in the missile happening. You're back in a few. Oh, all good. I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can craft stuff anyway, so you might not miss much. Arcade mode, stage replay, all of the truth. Okay. Odin and Bahama had at it by all accounts. Not by Bellinus Tor. Doesn't look like there's much else here. Doggos, yeah. Did you see the girl Sid brought back with him? I did. Right, yeah, she's still unconscious. Right. I completely forgot about that. Just want to see the fat choco though. Eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the Fat Chocobo. That's it, huh? If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. <laughs> you dung had so many uses. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. <laughs> what a name. Harp Harper. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Harper! Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what's also, that is a company? very fancy beard. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. 
Okay. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. It's a comprehensive compendium of Valisian lore, covering everything from basic terms to persons to geography and history. New information is constantly added as Clive, Clive progresses. I have a few new notes that might interest you. <laughs> That's... There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. That's uh, that's very cute. <laughs> I like it. The calendar, the dating system used throughout the twins, which marks years of the realm that have passed since the signing of the Accord. Okay. That's how the numbering system works. Dating ages, dating back to antiquity, the term AG has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. AGs are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant, uh, dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. That's what they're called. <laughs> like, What's if this was Jojo, it'd be Stans. In Ifrit, a fire aspected icon that first emerged in the year of 860 when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with the strength and ferocity never seen before. Its reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that its dominant was no other than Clive Rosfield. Rosfield. Garuda. Oh. Garuda, the Warden of Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated... I think we've read this already. Um, his dominant is most often born among descendants of the Mertz of Wind, an ancient tribe that once dwelt in the land spanning the Strait of Ortha that is now the Crystalline Dominion. This is Gandalf. Um, Rama, the Warden of Thunder, whose power most lately awakened in Sidolphus Telamon. The icon is known in the realm over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage mean, and scepter which it summons leaven bolts. Folk folklore has it that not only are dominance of Rama blessed with the command of lightning, they are also granted a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. Huh. And then persons of interest, dude. Yeah, so now the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awakens within him and discovers that the dominant fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other but himself. That's Kupka. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen now that he's, like, Benedict is gone. So it says... Da, 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 da. What was left of Benedict's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind within which she was at last to lose her life at the hands of Clive's Rosfield and his icon, Ifrit. Okay. There's a lot. I mean, if you want to read a lot of it. The crystals, ether, the deadlands. You can get really into it. But anyway, like, we've caught up on some of the stuff. There's thirds is. You, 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 newcomer. Background music can be played in the hired way and can be changed. 
that's it. <laughs> that's all I have so far. I would have thought I had more. It's apparently all vendors. The music in these games are always on point. Sid Solo. This is his house. We've been in here. Alright, I'll go to Sid now. Oh, you know what? I should stock up on stuff. Hold on. And what do you want? Coin purse weighing you down. An accessory. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finish, what? I'm robbing her blind by shopping. Oh, because we have discounted prices, that's why. Okay. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Jeez. Okay, any side quests? No side quests, which is surprising. It explains side quests, and I haven't had a single one since. Okay, um... What is that? It's like... Map. What do you mean, no available quests? I'm surely at, at some point this is going to open up to be more. Okay. We're at King's Fall. As usual... The King's Fall. Located in western Sandbrook near the Rosarian border, the King's Fall is a towering cataract fed by the waters of multiple converging tributaries. Though these waters long played an integral part in the lives of nearby settlers, an influx of displaced beasts fleeing from the Blight has forced many to abandon their claim to the resource. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Him and his shortcuts. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, 
Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial off. signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Hmm. The Hunter and the Hunted. Dogger doesn't judge. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. This music. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Spoder! Still got him, still got him. You know what to do, boy. Too slow. There, boy. Not this time. You know what to do, boy. Get him. I should have enough for that ability that I was saving up for. I'll check in a minute. Alright, uh... Another perfect... Oh wait, it's still not enough, really? Sure can't sit. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Thought it'd be closer than that. Sit 
them, Togo. Get him. Why didn't the battle music start? <laughs> Stay down. Hell of a shortcut. <laughs> oh boy. I accidentally used the high potion because I thought Wolf was on. Sorry, I'm sure I'll find- ah! <laughs> I'm sure I'll find another. Right there. Then we're fine. Doggo doesn't judge. What is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Uh oh. Gaff! Who goes there? Who goes there? This one's a dessert! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy! Get the cast, uh... Oh shit. It's another one of these guys. And a dragon, okay. There he is! Don't let him escape! Kill the deserter! Nice shortcut. Down there! Situation. You're late! Captain in trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail! We have to get to him before they do. Understood. 
I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Alright, that's what we're trying to do. Dive. What is that? Multiple dives. Okay, got it. One one's actually gonna be him. Oops, 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 oops. You know what to do. Up to Gav. Shit. Oh, shit. Good, uh, that's a good post. I, I appreciate these slowdowns because it'll let me get thumbnails. <laughs> he hung on. Even Doggo helped. Doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. 
That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. Hmm. I, I saw him too. Okay, wasn't a figment of imagination. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find but... out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Don't stand that's, me. That's Find great. Ah, <laughs> uh, hold on. Hooded man. A mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire, Clive first saw him at Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial Invasion, and for many years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. But to Clive's eternal chagrin, he has proved otherwise. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. Yep. He must be stopped. Dun dun dun. Damn. Guess we're heading here. Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Have you seen a volcano? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. More on Taja. Resident Physica of Sid's 
hide away. Taja is an expert in all manner of medicines and med medical interventions, skills that are indispensable in their Deadland home. Where they cannot call on healing magics after Sid brings an unconscious jewel back to the hideaway from his expedition to the nicer defile, she is placed into Tasha's care. Gyotz, apprentice to Karen, an ally of the hideaway, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone, but is not afraid to put his foot down in the face of injustice. Gyotz's every waking moment is spent in service to his nan, and he can do little of his own accord without her express permission. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. <laughs> Isn't the yeah. Moogle funny? <laughs> no, no side quests. It's strange that it introduced me to the concept of side because but there hasn't been any. Anyway. Is she gonna recognize me? It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! Your life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it. Yeah. I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Before we do, nothing new. Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders, the Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice to fight for them on the battlefield or. Everyone dies. See my countrywomen slaughtered. Hmm. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Good man, he, he spoke to me. What 
What did he say? Sonsies. We have found you. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Aww. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We've a long journey ahead of us. She gonna be the maid for us? New items are available. Speak with Karen. New crafting recipe. Let me see what I can make. So drink it in, Cooper. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm, he knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bold is no ordinary person. Clive. You understand Moogle tongue, Cooper? So it would seem. Finally, Cooper. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carry me here, but none of them understand the word. I say I've been banging my pom pom against the wall. Painful. But now you hear my pom pom safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Cooper. Oh, now there's quests. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Oh, this is more than just in here. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Entrance bunk cell. We just don't have enough teams to follow everything. Oh, it marks it. Okay. Mmm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> the irony. They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards.
Oh, I see what it's like. <laughs> it's the exit line. So soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can I send me? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. Who do they lock I help up? people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? I suppose people like me, huh? You know, there's someone Oi. there. Who did you bend over for to get the royal pardon? The old jailer there? Or was it Sid? What did he do? That's what I want to know. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help you? Can it send me? that our food has arrived does your appetite still elude you is he sick <sighs> I'm afraid so those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves which leaves me very little time for anything else happily Kenneth sees that I stay fed I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better like Kenneth now. <laughs> it's just advanced food delivery. Next one, they're going to be hiding. Ah, you're back. All done. Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. A bug. But I mean, if, I guess if I need money, I'll, I'll sell it. Okay, uh, let's do the other side quest. More wood? No, it's a botanist this time. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil. And I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Oh, we might be going somewhere. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied okay. bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Yeah, let's do that first. Aha. Uh -huh. 
It's the first one we're going to explore. That's cool. I was wondering when the quest would open up. What did you miss? Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think of like anything major happened off the top of my head, I mean. We went to meet and talk about the hooded guy again. Sid saw him. So it's not a figment of our imagination. And then we get a cutscene where the uh, the hooded guy is brother, and brother is alive. And Jill woke up. So she's getting ready for adventure. Brother's not a bad guy. That's like there's still some ambiguity. Oh, she's in the way. You heard. First side quest. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh... I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. <laughs> right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. It's kind of funny you could use those words to describe coffee you. and and well, I won't uh argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? How much soil does she need, exactly? I think we just go back, huh? Yeah. Safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. The soil. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, yes. Here. I don't know if I want to hand this over. Glorious. When Martel came home empty-handed. I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? 
Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... But it's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. <laughs> I wonder what, what that is. All right. I think that's all the side quests. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Oh uh, yeah, and the reason she was fighting for the uh, the dudes that, you know, his uh, owners were fighting is because when that all that shit went down 13 years ago, they went back to the castle and they murdered all the men and captured the women and then she ascended effectively and they told her, if you don't fight for us, we'll murder all the women too. So... That's why she was doing what she was doing. So she kind of didn't have a choice. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? And uh, we're going to the place where, like, the fight happened 13 Rosaria years ago. what you used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. <laughs> just, I just I noticed the back of his head, the triple head. ponytail. I'm just doing my job. Jeez. You need to make such a fuss. I mean, people do that with beards, but... You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. It'll say it. Okay, it just says after, yeah. Sets out of Clive to discover the truth of their past. Gav. Clive arrived in the, yeah, so. Um. Uh, Volunteered to follow after the dominant Clive had been hunting, only to find himself being hunted in turn by Imperials. As luck would have it, Clive arrived in the nick of time to save his life, forging an unbreakable bond between them. Okay. Area. 
It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. That wonderful run into mom, somehow. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Thanks to you. Well, it's all like just in the ruins, huh? We should press on. I'm coming. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks. I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. <laughs> right, it looks like there's no combat out here. I oh, know, there is. Fight time! I want to see what she does. Okay, so yeah, she's she's a caster. Okay, that seems very useful. I want to make sure the XP doesn't fall behind or something. What about these? No. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I thought it was just harmless wildlife. It's it's not. I was like, oh, they're just harmless wildlife. Nope. Incorrect. Combat is so satisfying with the two ability types. I think that's it for here. Yeah, it's just a dead end here. I think that's the one downside is like the minimap the lack of minimap but on the plus side the, the doggo feature for tracking is good ah oh, I was gonna go check the river I I finished building the bridge then after what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oh, there's a side quest. Oi! Stop me. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. 
Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was really late as it was. <laughs> I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Okay, might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Am I enjoying it so far? Yeah. I mean... I... Yeah. I don't play games I don't enjoy. If I wouldn't enjoy it, immediately I'd be like, nah, this isn't for me. I'm just not bother with it. <laughs> All right. Get him! Over here! Over here! Sick him, Toggle! You know what to do, boy. Get him! That still didn't hit me. Oh damn, her attacks. I'm kind of afraid of having too much of an attachment to characters in this game, given what happened in Seven. There, boy. Sick of Toggle. Stay down. I don't know if they dare repeat that again. Here we are. Martha's rest. That's one of our brand. Good girl. You get some rest now. Are you the stable master? I was they might pull a Game of Thrones. I mean, they kind of did, like at the start, with just everyone getting murdered. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where? A peddler got to. He couldn't come himself. Where? <laughs> Where is he? Hmm. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal Greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal Greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I've got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. <laughs> what a bird wants. Jeez. You barely have to stay. Let's go and find out, shall we? Alright. It's crazy. No one in this town's going to recognize him because the town is no longer full of any inhabitants from the past. Like, completely commandeered. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. 
for protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. <laughs> just like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, we know about the Brandis soldier. Martha's Rest. A small settlement huddled atop a rocky tor overlooking the swampy lowlands of southern, southeastern Rosaria. Cell swords gather in its barracks, hawkers in the streets, while those short on work can be heard singing over flagons of ale from morning until night in the village's eponymous tavern. While the former duchy may want for cheer since being annexed by the Empire, the rest is a rare spot of sunshine among the gloom, and most travellers make a point of stopping over when they're passing through. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm went with Rosalith at its capital. When the duchy was left leader leaderless in the aftermath of the attack on Phoenix Gate in the year 860, the Iron Blood seized the opportunity to attack the capital. Their campaign did not long last long, however, as the Holy Empire of Sandbrick soon returned in full force to stake its own claim, leaving the once proud duchy no choice but to submit and become an imperial vassal state. Okay. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. That Ominous. So? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. Are we about I to build a bridge? The carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. <laughs> Doggo waited patiently. To Eastpool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Get away from me! What? <laughs> oh, what? The I thought he got attacked. <laughs> it's okay, it's a different person. <laughs> I was like. I don't care, like... Ugh. That was well-timed. I thought somehow he got attacked. The random NPC that told us to keep our sword away. Okay. 
Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but a clean slip. I mean, how quick can one man build a bridge? Unless he has, like, a magic power that builds bridges. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, look at that. That's, that's that's several months worth of work. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Def Bernard. Define no time. We're hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Okay, report back to Martha. Martha. I'm just frolicking around town. You know, happy to be home. Pull that sword from it, scoured. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine, and he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. Gallivanting, nice. that's a good word to We've describe it. in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return. But you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Okay. But again, how long are we talking about here? <laughs> the supposed gonna go sometime later. Get you a drink or anything while you wait. Flagging of impeachment. Unless he has some bridge making magic or something, like thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth. About why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. 
The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just very, it at the very dystopian. Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have Jeez. to be patient. Right? <laughs> right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Darkness, huh? It was good, honest. Work. Yeah, maybe the dude has. I mean, look, look at this. This is like. I guess we have to remember shit like this exists. Maybe there's something that just builds bridges. Come and have a look. Don't be fresh shy. Cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. It would take it would take months. It would it would take like almost a year. It would have to. With one person. A team of people may be different. Oh, that way. If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on What? Hold on. I'm confused. And that's still on the local map, so... Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna have to keep pressing this. Just my wayfinding abilities are so bad. How do I get down? Elevator. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth, and assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Yeah, imagine hating on someone because of the circumstances of their birth. Fucking idiotic. Get him, boy. Get him. 
just realized I'm fighting giant enemy crabs. Stay down. If I want to feel old, it's like, there's going to be a lot of people that don't know what that's in reference to. That's what they did when a child was born with a mental problem. They're either hidden away or sent to an insane asylum. I mean, historically there's been a lot of reasons why people just do that stuff. Like, yeah, mental problems, birth defect, or like... In more insane circumstances for being left-handed, like... It wasn't too long ago. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. But then there's also, like, adults that hate on people because they were born somewhere. It's just such a stupid mentality. And that was like the classic, you know, people have hysteria and give them lobotomies. It's just that practice. Man, Good day to you. if you watch the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, that movie, the jeez. Abbey is not open for public prayer. It's a good movie. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. That is scary that did that back then. Yeah. Just medical science. <laughs> please. It wasn't too long ago that it was kind of in a, in a fucked up state and they were just taking their best guess with a bunch of different things. Like mental illness, illnesses being, oh, let's just take out a piece of their brain. That'll fix them. I never want to die. Please, father. We're like, hmm. My marriage is a mess and my wife doesn't like me. She seems depressed. Let's send her to our psychiatrist and then get the diagnosis to be take out a piece of brain so she doesn't think about being unhappy. Like Who are these people? Oh man. Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. What is that? Yeah, I'll go to the asylum for issues of depression, pretty much. The curse has taken them. Like, just any- expressing any sort of... As it does, admission it of like sadness or gift. you know depression or any anything along that that kind of shows a weakness it was just frowned upon all that remains is stone and pain and so they are cast aside 
There Jeez. is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> oh, man. Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Yeah, that's heavy shit. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. All right, it's a while away. But I do like it when games do that, is like draw parallels on, I guess, life. Excuse me, is that a blue... Hold on, what is this over here? There's a blue... Hey, where'd the blue one... Yeah, what is this blue bird? I want to ride it. I, don't... I want to capture it and make it my best friend. <laughs> I don't want to murder it. I want to make it my mount. Uh, no, <laughs> at least I don't think so. It'd be cool. Keep your distance. I was just curious. I was like, "Oh, there's a blue one there. Why? That's that's rare." Okay, but uh, that's just an enemy, sadly. Nice looking well this. This has probably been the most gameplay I've had. Because the first three, four hours of this, it was very cinematic. Which, I'm not complaining, I, I liked it. So this is the most running around I've done. Probably the open world aspect. Old semi open world, I guess. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. 
The abbot had no, it's good because I've been able to just relax and kick back in my chair and just drink tea. That's good. Come upstairs. The granted, I'll probably have to play something else alongside this, as I know, like these kind of games are not everyone, everyone's taste. So now you know. But me. yeah, I've seen plenty of bears. I've been wanting to play this all week, and I just like couldn't because <laughs> I couldn't oh, finish Mario and Luigi. Different. So I was gonna put double time in today. Can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bear's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around weeping for those on whose broken back. I mean, sometimes it's, it's just a case of like, there's there's dips. There's, and so you sometimes there's stay. quiet nights, and of it I have. it's cotton, it's no reflection of the game. It's just coincidentally people are busy. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours, aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. It is Saturday. Yeah, exactly. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. Yeah, that doesn't stop me from playing it. It's there. just... You got questions that need It answers, depends yeah. how I'm feeling. Like, sometimes... Thank you. It's Martha. easy to just play the game and not think oh, about that stuff. But then, you know, other times it's like, alright, I'll just... Wear this and finish up early because it's a bit quiet. And no Such is the plight of the smaller streamer. It's like you're not sure if uh, if people, maybe people aren't enjoying it, or maybe it's just like a, oh, maybe it's just an off night and it's just it is what it is. And Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. But I try my best not to think about it too much and just go with that. I guess I'll see how it goes on YouTube as well. Because that's another good indicator is like if the VODs get play on YouTube and it's like, alright, it's just an off night. Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, yeah. But... Oh, shit. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... is most people follow a lot of streamers, and it's a case of, like... Sometimes... Maybe just not doing what someone wants to watch, and that's okay. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. The sky is massive again. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. So I, the, I mean. I wanted to save her. We just saw an illness where the skin was like that color. It's either he has that or... I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. See? Hold on. The Crystal's Curse. Yeah. The price bearers and dominance pay for channeling ether through their bodies. The gradual petrification of their flesh. It does not affect those who use the crystal to cast their magics. Beginning with a stiffness and ache in the extremities, as the curse progresses, limbs are rendered immobile and the pain unbearable. At last, the victim completely turns to stone and their body crumbles into dust. There is no known cure. Alright, so he has that. I'm 
and I'll save you. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging the Makes sense, like radiation effectively. But instead of handing them the hammer, i be coursing through the body. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. That's why he's coughing up blood, he's kind of used it a lot. Huh. That's what little brother had as well. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. Okay, he was coughing. He was coughing, coughing up something fierce very early. God, you've had a hard life, and I don't see it getting much easier. Nah, he was dominant, I guess. Might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Darling. These things are basic. All I can think of is like these things are are basically chickens. If they eat them and make fried chicken out of their their legs, like imagine how big the piece of fried chicken would be. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it would be like cut, you know, in cartoons how they just show a gigantic piece of meat. It'd, it'd be comical like that. This this side quest here, hang on. Like a giant turkey leg. I mean, even bigger than the turkey leg. Like, before the Imperials do. Look at look at that. It's it's massive. It's like the size of a person. Can't talk now. I oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Like a horse, like, I mean, they're basically a horse. Yeah. It's not so much what happened as what might. I suppose it... Uh, I don't know. Like, because it's used like a horse, would its meat not be the same? <laughs> it's such a weird conversation, but I can't help but think. I am a little hungry, but I think I should not eat because it's almost too. They'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? All right. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. I I, I can't I can't eat anything I now. I catch up with him yet. Because if I do, I'm not going to sleep. That's the problem. Especially if it's something like pancakes, because that would have sugar in it. Catch a bastard standing around cooking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Donald. We were just leaving. Look. This one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. <clears throat> Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. 
Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Uh, okay, it's still within here. There is a hardly difficult to spot. It's here. What? What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? We can hold multiple quests, but I'll go this way. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. You barely have to step out your way. That's one of our branded. <laughs> they keep saying that every time I go past. Do we take him in? My eyes peeled. Look for clues. The lamp. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. What is this? Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. Hmm. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest... I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial search before it begins. Oh, like plant it somewhere. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. He was torn to shreds. That's the story we're going with. To shreds, you say? Oh, 
That's one of our branded. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? You barely <laughs> Lazy ass soldiers. Excuse me, you what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Well branded. That sounded like a sensor. Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. I haven't checked in a while. Hang on. Ugh, damn it. There we go. I got this a bit. This looked cool. And it heals, so... I was holding on to experience until I had enough. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't That's... promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about this. Okay. A creature might have already yeah, there claimed it. Is. it. Claimed it. Eaten it. All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might yep. have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. <laughs> I don't like this guy. There's just people that do that, they ask you for a favor, and then they're like, Oh yeah, by the way, now that you've agreed, here's a detail that I forgot to tell you. But you, you still do it, right? Yeah, you said you'd do it. Worst kind of people. We're not alone. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. Interesting. So what is this? Is this like just kill crabs until I find it? Oh, that was quick. Alright. <laughs> Where's the bottle? 
I mean, maybe they're just not edible crabs. So it's foul crystal. It's probably like semi digested. You found it! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Okay. Apparently, there's like. There's one way off in the distance for some reason. Okay. Can I. Put down pins so I know where to go. Hang on. Uh, local map. Oh, there we go. Marker. I hear the levers at you. Okay, it's not that far away. The blight, it's spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Don't worry. Oh, spiders, never mind. What you want? What you want? Water? Excuse you want some water? Curse my look. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. <laughs> oh dear. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You want to marry? The accents. Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait. Think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder. Finishing off our bait. All right. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right. Off you go then. <laughs> I just love it. That his face is just skepticism when he accepts quests. It's just like, man, these. These dudes. Of 
find this Bryce and let him know the road's safe. Okay. Oh, just that way. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe. Very, you, very succinct. Thank you for explaining that. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I'd never have thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. I just want the experience. And of course there's money involved, so... It's not that I like these people. I want to help them. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. It was on the way out, so. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. East pool. Okay. A hamlet located in the eastern part of the imperial province of Rosaria. It was once surrounded by fertile farmland, but the southward creep of the blight eventually drove out most of its inhabitants. And Phoenix Castle. The remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what became known as the Night of Flames. The castle's invasion by the Sembracor saboteurs and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. The earth is still riddled with fissures and tears, testament to the ferocity of the fight that unfolded here. The gate itself was buried beneath piles of soot-stained rubble, and with it Rosaria's pride falling as the duchy did to the Empire not long after. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, wow. Someone recognized oh, I us. I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <laughs> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age, She notices that. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah.
Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, her Imperial Majesty. <laughs> Mom. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Jeez. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. No, no. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Dude, died. You haven't heard, then. They murdered all the men. Rodney passed oh. away on the night of the fire. Oh. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. <sighs> yeah, right. He was he was deleted. He was deleted. Clive. <laughs> I forgot about that. He was deleted by him. You look pale. Or all this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Yeah. Wife of Rodney Murdoch, lead commander of the Rosarian army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool. Lord commander of the Rosarian army, outranked only by his firm friend, Archduke Elwyn. When Clive manifested into Ifrit during the attack on Phoenix Gate, Murdoch lost his life to the Infernal Icon's flames. Like, instantly. Former Duchess of Rosaria, now Empress of the Holy Empire of Sambrek, it was... Ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, for which reason she betrayed her husband that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier. Now she rules over Rosaria as, what, Viserin? No, Viserin of the Imperial Province, which she rules with a cruelty and contempt for the base-born that was unknown in Archduke Elwyn's day. The Night of Flames, an Imperial attack on Rosarian forces stationed at Phoenix Gate, made under the cover of night in 860. Archduke Elwyn Ros Rosfield was killed in the fighting, as were his two sons, though the bodies of the latter were never recovered. Having thought to have been wholly consumed by the Hellfire, the attack was widely rumoured to have been facilitated by the traitorous Duchess Annabella, although official explanations attempted to shift the blame onto the Phoenix having run inexplicably rampant. So she shifted blame to her dead child. Like, wow. Or supposedly dead child. Situated in the heart of the Dussel capital of Rosalith, it was from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family once ruled their proud nation. A well-armed Sandokar garrison has been stationed here since 860 when the duchy was annexed by the Empire following the tragedy at Phoenix Gate and the subsequent invasion. What a character. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Yeah. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. That's that's rough, man. She really has been very kind. He didn't realize it until now. Like, he was like, oh yeah, right, brother. But then... I guess because he couldn't remember. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. 
I like what Sid said. Sid said, go find out if the hooded guy has any relation to your brother's death. And if he doesn't, then you can kill yourself. <laughs> And all the others. Just obviously said it with good comedic timing. I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. Yeah, that's There's right. So She's uh so many lives cut short in their prime. She's kinda done similar shit. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Does she transform too? Yeah, at the start of the game, that thing that shot all the ice, that's her. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? Yeah. I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Do I, does it come up? I think it does. No, nah, doesn't say anything else. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke. Our okay, see, now he looks like the cover art. I was wondering. And Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. That's rough, man. She's so nice. Also, like, very, uh... Very yin and yang here. It's like blue and red. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes. Like red for the warrior and blue for the mage. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Rough. Fare you well. Yeah, I mean most likely planned. Because there's pixel art in this game. Lady Hannah. We follow the road to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. So wait, I got new gear now. I've got ah! I spent all this money on gear and it just kissed me. If I would have known, I mean it's okay. Like everything I did was completely pointless in the grand scheme of things. Mm. 
And character's looking a bit like a, like, almost Devil May Cry like. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. Uh oh. Mistaken. Then why are you wearing his clothes? Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments... Yeah, you know what? He's kind of drawing extra attention to himself now. Now that, now that I think about this. Until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Poland. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve... We're about to get minions. ...and still considered the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. <sighs> if it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Okay. Huh. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on. Yeah, I mean, we want to remain inconspicuous and hidden, and yet... This is probably like a poor choice of clothing. But maybe people don't recognize the clothing anymore. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Yeah, Someone like maybe just pure black. <laughs> just invent camouflage. Just well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. 
You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies Jeez. going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> Good day, milady. X is interact and jump. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, uh, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bear. Jeez. Okay, I know what this is, the direction this is gonna go in. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the puff to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young a mo. The chocobo keeper might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Oh, there's like a background explanation going on now. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. Poor old guy's probably trying to go back to the castle. Keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing that he looks like he's having a conversation now. with Still someone that isn't there. Could he have strayed even further?
There he is. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. He's not moving. Company. <laughs> the old man. They need to die. Damn wasps. You know what to do, boy. I mean, I'm sure he would have turned around by now, just hearing this going on behind him. Get him boy. How could he be oblivious to this? <laughs> He's just standing there facing the view, doesn't hear, like, just these explosions going off behind him. Sounds of a dog. Swords. Oh, what a beautiful day. Not a care in the world. It's so quiet, this view. is nice and quiet. So secluded, no one here, no wildlife at all. Huh, I've been playing this for a while, haven't I? Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yeah, poor old man. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens. Oh, man. No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle. Not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Poor guy. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. 
I wish you were Very safe, formal English they, they're using in this. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to leave it here. One, the controller is is uh, low battery, but also it's late. Oh, there you go. Updated. <laughs> I love the pixel art. But it, uh, it is late, so I should probably get some rest. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and consider the button clicking if you want to support the channel here. Or perhaps two other videos have popped up on your screen now, and maybe if you want to watch more stuff, you can click them. But we'll uh, see you next time.